The main advantage of how to transplant is that there is the one of the two biologic options to treat growing patients with missing teeth. There are only two. First is the transplantations of the developing tooth, and the second one is the orthodontic space closure when you lost, uh, let's say, central incisors. So at this age of patient, and we are talking about the teenage patients, there are no other options that transplant or to space close uh, orthodontically. If you left the space open and you will wait for implant, you will experience a bone loss for many years before you will be able to place an implant in the adult patient. So first of all, the patients uh, after a dental trauma without an incisors, especially in the upper jaw, in the maxilla. Secondly, the patients with the agenesis uh, of uh, lower uh, second premolars, when the premolars are missing. And there might be uh, indication for orthodontic transplantation from the crowded maxilla to the lower jaw. And the third indication is an ectopic tooth when it is not in the proper normal position within the jaw, so we can surgically upright transplant the tooth to its normal position. Uh, that's what I already explained in, in these three indications. And of course, there are different type of teeth that could be involved in transplantation. I mean also the impacted canines, especially in the lower jaw. And we can transplant the wisdom teeth to replace missing teeth in the anterior uh, lateral segments. Depending on the study and on the study group, whether there were a young individuals or adult patients, the rejection differs. In young patients, when we transplant developing teeth, the success rate is very high. It's about 90% of success. In older patients, in adult patients, we may experience more complications when we transplant a mature teeth. So it depends mainly on the stage of the development of the transplant and also on the uh, age of the patient. The future is good because uh, recently we have uh, many studies that supports the, the predictability of the protocol of transplantation of teeth. And also we have uh, this, this knowledge that sooner or later we will develop the artificial biologic teeth. And if we may produce a teeth in the future, we will still need a technique to implant those teeth uh, in our patients. So the future is very good. The research line, as I mentioned, uh, the interest in transplantation in, is growing because as we are placing an implants for many years, we now realize that we have complications in every treatment, even with implants. So especially in growing patients, where we know that we cannot place an implant if the patients uh, didn't grow enough, the transplantations might be a single rescue for those patients.